Actually, no. I don't think the fight started with the sword. Why not? Because the sword sheath had been scratched. See? There's a gash in it. Like someone cut into it with something sharp. Something sharp? You mean, like the kitchen knife? That was the only sharp thing found at the scene. Stop jumping ahead! Slow down and explain it so I get what the hell's going on. If the sword was used first, there wouldn't be any explanation for the scratch on the sheath. If you were going to attack with the sword, you'd take it out of the sheath first, right? That's true. With the sheath on, it would be heavy and bulky and useless as shit. Okay, so how did the sheath get damaged? If they got attacked with the kitchen knife, maybe they grabbed the sword as a defensive impulse. In that situation, there wouldn't be any time to actually unsheath the sword. So you're saying the sword was initially used to defend against an attack from the knife? Which means whoever had the kitchen knife was the one who attacked first. I think I get it! So here's how it all played out. The culprit came in, found the kitchen knife hidden there somewhere, then they took the knife and attacked Sayaka before she knew what was happening. So she grabbed the sword to defend herself. But then the culprit took that from her, too! Then, after they broke her wrist with the sword, they took the knife and... finished it. Sorry, but I don't think Sayaka used the sword to defend herself. What? How the hell can you not think that? Because she never held the sword at all. There's a certain part of her body that makes this clear. Yep. Her palms. I got it! You're talking about her palms, right? The palms of her hands were perfectly clean. So I don't think she ever picked up the sword. How can you know that just by looking at her palms? Come on, Owie. Like I said before, the gold coating on that sword comes right off. All you have to do is touch it. In fact, if you look, you'll notice that a lot of the gold has already come off the handle. It's safe to assume that's because whoever used the sword got some of it on their hands. There's really no way she could have picked it up and come away completely clean. Maybe she washed her hands after she escaped into the bathroom. Sorry, but I don't think so. Why do you say that? Is it because you think I'm ugly? And then there's Toko. No, that's not it at all. There's no way Saka washed the gold coating off her hands because the water was off. Yeah. According to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's time of death was around 1.30 a.m. In other words, at nighttime. And the water in the bathroom shuts off at nighttime, right? I mean, the shower does. Oh, I didn't know that. Actually, I haven't taken a shower yet. How long have we been here? Today is day number four. Okay. As long as it's not been a week. Oh my. You're no different. You smell like a big, fat, ugly donkey. Hmm? I'm not sure whether to take that as an insult or a compliment. I would so take that as a compliment. So anyway, if Sayaka never touched the sword, then that means the killer is the only one who used the sword. But hold on. If that's right, then the one who damaged the sheath with the kitchen knife was... One of them would have had to been the one without the sword. I got it. Sayaka. Sayaka? She had the kitchen knife? But we already said that the attack started with... The person with the knife attacked first, and the sword was used as an impromptu defense. Then the one who attacked first was... Sayaka? Now do you understand? She wasn't a blameless victim in this. No, far from it. It's almost as if... She'd been planning to commit a murder of her own. She took the knife from the kitchen, then invited the culprit to the room she was staying in. And if it's true that she had the kitchen knife and attacked without provocation... Indeed. These are all the actions of an assailant. Which brings up another point. Makoto, Sayaka was the one who suggested you two switch rooms, correct? Maybe the reason she wanted to switch rooms was so that she could pin the crime on you. That is a possibility, is it not? Sayaka wanted to... on me? <laughs> that line right there. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Right. 
I, I still feel like this should honestly give me a way to like repeat lines. She wanted to get whoever she had targeted to come to Makoto's room where she was staying. And by committing the murder there, instead of her room, that would implicate Makoto. But for that to work, the target had to be lured out while still keeping the room swap a secret. If the target knew she had switched rooms, they would have become suspicious right away. So all that's why she switched the names? But doesn't that plan seem a little risky? For one thing, even if her plan worked, Mr. Nayagi would just tell everyone they'd switched rooms. I don't know. I'm not sure our soft-hearted Makoto is capable of that kind of cutthroat behavior. I'm sure Sayaka realized the same thing, which is why out of all of us, she asked him to switch rooms. Plus, she was the ultimate pop sensation. A totally forgettable kid. Or a national superstar. Who are you more likely to believe? Wait, then... You're saying she had this all planned out? Holy shit! But in the end, her plan backfired. She launched her attack with the knife, then found herself under attack in turn. That must be when her wrist got broken, and she was forced to drop the knife. The tables were suddenly turned on her, and she died at the hands of the one she planned to murder. Just hold on! That can't be true! Because... Because... Hey! Hey! You guys have totally derailed the argument! You're being super boring right now! Come on, hurry up and decide who did it! Wouldn't it be awful if I had to punish you all just because you ran out of time? Oh yeah, we gotta decide who we think did it. Makoto. Right now, you just need to concentrate on figuring out the answer to this mystery. If we can't uncover who murdered Sayaka, it's over for all of us. Is it really all over? I was have committed to finding out who killed her, but what can I do? I mean, as far as clues go, there's nothing left. You got that Soda, long? Soda, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> okay, dying message, I always count. It's easy just to say, hey, decide who did it. But there just aren't any more clues, right? You got that wrong. Let's just break down that argument immediately. Sayaka's dying message. Dining? Wait, wh what did you say? The dying message. Dining. She wrote something on the wall behind her. Remember? One, one, zero, three, seven. Written in her own blood. There must be a clue about the killer hidden in there. You can yeah. see the Before two ones connected! Yeah. It's not one. I need to oh ask. Can we really be sure that Sayaka is the one who wrote it? Yes. Easy. Left index finger. Her left index finger had blood on it. That could only be because she used that finger to write the message. I mean, you can fake that, but the killer didn't know about it. She broke her right wrist during the fight, so she'd have to use her left hand to write. Sure. I think we can all agree Sayaka wrote it. But still, what the heck do those numbers mean? Hey, Chihiro. You're a computer nerd or whatever, right? You should know all about numbers and shit. <laughs> no, okay. that's not... Yes, I'm a programmer, but I don't see any kind of meaning in these numbers. Of course. It's because they're not numbers. Oh, yeah, it looks like... Huh? What? What? No, it's just... Uh, look at the numbers, assuming they're not numbers. Don't these first two, one one, look less like two numbers and more like one letter? Ah, oh, you're right. The connecting line is barely there. So I assumed it was 1-1, one, one, but looking at it now, you could also read it as an N. Really, there's no reason the connecting line in that one spot shouldn't be there. Whoa, you might have finally just said something worth a shit. <laughs> I look myself, I'm really getting excited now. But even if that really is an N, N037, doesn't make any more sense than before. It's no use, I just don't Rotate know. the image 180 degrees. Zoom and enhance! Rotate it? 
Oh my god. Now I see. She wrote down the killer's name. Huh? You just shot past the clue card and right on to who did it. So, whose name did she write? Come on, guys. I know. I'm more of just switching through everyone's portrait. I have plenty of time. The key to solving this mystery was simply to rotate the writing 180 degrees. Literally the easiest murder ever. The murder person literally wrote the fucker's name down. And y'all idiots are just yeah, too but, stupid to realize that. Yeah. Even if that wasn't the case, they were willing to overlook a dying message. These guys are idiots. Turn the message around. It becomes the letters L E O N. L E O N. Or more accurately, Leon. So, what's what up, was buddy? this like in the Japanese version? What the hell are you talking know. about? It's just a bunch of random snow. It's not random at all. I think it was the same, because their names are all the same. She yeah, I'm just wondering if they would realize it if it was in Mountain Kanji or whatever. In that position, she couldn't move to write normally, and had to write upside down, as it were. And as a result, when you look at it standing in front of her, it ends up getting flipped. Try it for yourself if you want. Write something sitting like her, and the letters will be inverted. That, that sounds like one hell of a stretch to me. I'm the killer? You can't just go and say shit like that. You said that about me. If you're not the killer, then why did you try to destroy the evidence? Huh? You know what I'm talking about, right, Makoto? The evidence Leon tried to get rid of? I got it! You mean... The burnt shirt piece I found laying on the ground by the incinerator, right? As the killer stabbed Sayaka, they must have gotten some of her blood on them. And to dispose of the shirt covered in the victim's blood, they threw it into the incinerator. But one piece burned off and got left behind. And the killer didn't notice. If they had, they most certainly would have panicked. Isn't that right, Leon? Is one scrap of fabric enough to conclude that Leon is guilty? No, but that freaking clothespin on his yeah, shirt is. I mean, Leon's not the only one wearing a white button up. That, that's right! There are plenty of other people here with shirts like mine. With just that one little charred piece, there's no way you can say for sure who it belongs to. You're right. That alone isn't enough. But there are some other points that may reveal the truth. Are you finally starting to understand? The yeah, I think so. The burnt remains of the button-up shirt, which the killer wasn't able to get rid of. There's something about it we need to pay attention to in order to figure out who's responsible. Where it was disposed of. Oh, they're not talking anymore for some reason. How the fuck that's supposed to make wrong. anything clear? Shoot. Oh. I mean... Okay... I think... I think... I don't know. Fucking one of them. Ow! Alright. ...how the shirt was disposed of. We should be able to figure out who the killer is. Oh, oh yeah. That's a good point. I, I think I know what you're gonna say. You can't reach the incinerator without opening the gate in front of the trash room, right? And obviously, you wouldn't be able to hit the switch to turn it on, either. You'd need the key to get in. And the one with the key was... the person on cleaning duty. So the killer had to be whoever was in charge of taking care of the trash. Right? No. <laughs> Interesting. Let me shut up. No, that's wrong. There was another way to use the incinerator without being the one on cleaning duty, and that's exactly what proves that Leon is the real killer. And it's complete bullshit to assume that he got both those shots perfect through the fence. I mean, to be fair, the shirt was easier because you're aiming for this big open incinerator. Whoever was on cleaning duty must have had it, right? So the only one who could get to the incinerator was... 
person in charge of the crash? And you'd have to get close to the incinerator in order to destroy. You got that wrong. Shut up. You saw that. Hold on. I think I know how someone could dispose of the evidence without using the trash room key. But if you can't get past the gate, you couldn't possibly turn on the incinerator, could you? Yes, you could. If you used this. What is it, some kind of glass ball? It's busted to hell. Actually, it was supposed to be a crystal ball, but... Uh... But how would you use it? Killer had to use the glass ball in a certain way. Divine was, uh... with it! <laughs> Tonka Curry! I got it! I wish. The killer simply took aim at the incinerator switch and threw the ball through a gap in the gate. All they had to do was hit that switch, and the incinerator would come to life. Someone threw that through a gap in the gate? That's the part I don't believe. To be able to aim it correctly after fighting off a killer. Remember what you said before? He threw well, Leon wasn't killer. harmed at all. Yeah, but the fact that it was late in the middle of the night, he was exhausted from that struggle, pumping with freaking adrenaline and endorphins. I don't think he could have made that shot correctly. Definitely could have. Very easily. Unless he's, he's killed the before. literal ultimate baseball star. Yeah, Easy. but everyone makes mistakes after committing murder. Unless he's killed Yeah, I know, but your exact it. point, he was rushing with adrenaline, which helped him physically. It helps you physically, but it messes up aim and, you know, precise things. It makes you stronger, though. That's the point of adrenaline. I don't think it messes up aim. I think it just... Makes you Fumi had the stronger key. for a little bit. So the only way the incinerator could have been turned on without his knowledge was because the killer was able to hit the switch without opening the gate. Once they got the incinerator going, all they had to do was ball up the shirt and toss it in. Hey, come on! What the hell is this? All you have to do is look at the scene to know that the killer never actually went inside the trash room. The shards of broken glass, the incinerator left running, the piece of shirt that escaped the fire? If the killer had been on cleaning duty, the evidence would have been taken care of much more thoroughly. Wait, wait, no, just hold on. But the distance from the gate to the incinerator has to be at least 30 feet, right? The pinpoint accuracy you'd need to throw a glass ball that far and hit something that small. Could someone really do that? that that's right, there's no way. It'd be impossible. Difficult, absolutely. Impossible? I don't think so. Because the killer is... <laughs> they just wrote themselves into that role. Yeah. Or they used the power of the spirit. I got it. Baseball star. Because the killer is the ultimate baseball star. Isn't that right, Leon? Do you, do you have any idea how stupid you sound right now? A target 30 feet away would surely be little challenge for the ultimate baseball star. You, you, you can't be serious. I, I, I'm not the killer. These goddamn shipper brains have got it all wrong. I'm telling you. You still won't admit it? Okay, then. Makoto, go ahead and review the incident one more time to make his crime perfectly clear. And with that, we can end this. Listen to me! What the hell do you mean, end this? Say what you want, Leon. But all the questions have been answered. And the truth has been revealed. Now here's what happened. Not at all. Let's do this. Climax. Um, okay, so... Oh, wait, there were more? Okay, that would be fine. No. 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 You skipped it. Wait, it's right to left, isn't it? Yeah, manga. It's right. Oh, okay, that was my issue. <laughs> that was my entire issue. I was reading, I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. The killer is you! 
I think I better take one more look back at the Yeah, you fucked up. <laughs> Did I? Okay, no, I thought that wasn't saying you fucked up, but I think maybe you messed up on one thing. From what we can tell, Sayaka invited that person there I think, I'm not 100 percent It's annoying with one because it makes you go through the entire thing just to find out what you did wrong. But then something happened that she wasn't prepared for. They grabbed the fake sword I put in my room and fought back. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. Yeah, there it was. I need to mess up on one of them. What? Because she drops the knife after. What? She dropped the knife in that panel. You just did the same thing. It's oh. that one. But with the sword. Here's exactly what happened. There. During the struggle, a strike from the sword broke Sayaka's right wrist. And that's when she lost her grip on the kitchen knife. Finding herself cornered, Sayaka panicked and ran into the bathroom. The killer went after her, but couldn't get the bathroom door open. What they didn't know was that my bathroom door got stuck easily, and there was a trick to opening it. Sayaka knew about that because I told her, but of course the killer had no way of knowing. So instead, the killer forced the door open, took the kitchen knife, and stabbed Sayaka. But with what strength she had remaining, Sayaka left a dying message. To keep the killer from noticing, she wrote it on the wall behind her. And with that, all her strength was gone. With Sayaka dead, the killer quickly began destroying the evidence. First, they took off their shirt, which was covered in their victim's blood. Then they took the lint roller in my room and cleaned up the entire area. They wanted to make sure they got rid of any trace they'd ever been there. Afterwards, the killer headed to the trash room to destroy their bloody shirt. They tried to burn the shirt using the incinerator there, but the trash room was blocked off by an especially sturdy gate, preventing access to the incinerator. So they came up with a plan to use Hero's crystal ball, which he'd left in the laundry room. The killer managed to throw the ball through the gap in the gate and hit the incinerator switch. For any normal person, That'd be an impossible throw, but the killer had the confidence to take a shot, and that's because the killer was the ultimate baseball star. The crystal ball, thrown with absolute precision, hit the switch on the incinerator, which then quickly roared to life. Having destroyed the final piece of evidence, they left the area with, I imagine, a sigh of relief. But there was one thing they missed. Part of the shirt they'd thrown into the fire burnt away and fell out of the incinerator. The killer didn't notice this, and so left behind a piece of indisputable evidence. Leon. It would appear that Hero simply forgot his crystal ball in the laundry room. You went there to try and wash the blood out of your shirt, and that's where you saw it, right? Seeing the ball, you thought of a way to take care of everything. So, Leon, do you object to anything that's been said? Do I object? Hell yes, I object! Of course! 
course I do! I object! I mean, all of this is just a without evidence. It's all bullshit. Well then, I guess this is as good a time as any to present the evidence that proves you did it. Makoto, I believe you're in possession of that evidence. I have the evidence? The first truth. You're both. Bullet time battle is about to begin. Do I need to know anything about this one? I don't think so. When the killer broke the bathroom doorknob, they didn't use anything from your room to do it. So what did the killer yeah. use? I refuse to acknowledge you! You're stupid, stupid, stupid! I think this is I have to show indisputable evidence that Leon is the killer. I need to figure it out. I already have that evidence. Yeah, this is the, the rhythm game shit. You, you just me? click in time to the rhythm. Not a chance. Whatever your action button is. Stupid. You lie. Stop talking. Shut up. Here's your proof. You kidding me? Not a chance. You lie. Shut up. Here's your proof. You kidding me? Not a chance. Are you doing this right? It wasn't me. Yeah. Stupid. Dang it. I lost my thing. Oh, I thought you were doing it right. I don't know what you did. Did I seriously just lose because of that? I don't understand that. I mean, lose is a relative thing. Why would anyone pick me at this point? That's what the that's what always happens. If you fuck up a trial, they just vote for you for some reason. Th this is idiotic. Everyone knew it was him, and for some reason I had to give evidence for it. They were willing to throw me on the thing. Is, is this really the end for all of us? Okay, I need to know. I refuse yeah. to give up yet. What? I can just come back to life? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna look up how to, like, actually read how to do this.